this episode, I'm going to check out Thing, the awesome network support tool that is fantastic for both IT pros, home offices, and tech enthusiasts alike. But what is it and how does it work? Check this out. This is cool. Hey everyone, it's Andy here. So nice to see you. How are you? Hey, listen, on today's episode, I'm going to take a look at Thing up there. Now, Thing is a network monitoring, management, and security tool that I gotta put my hands up and say, hey, this is just so easy to use. Now, there is a free version, so you can even download that totally free and check it out and start using it. But I'm gonna take a look at the slightly professional version today, and you're gonna see exactly what it does and how it works. Now, just to mention, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love for you to come on board. So bump that subscribe button up there, ring that bell, and come and join my learning community. Now, if you've got questions and comments, as always, you know what to do. Give that those down below. Okay, so I think without any further ado, let's jump in and see exactly what Thing is, and more importantly, what it can do for you. Okay, so I'm kicking off the demo here in Thing.com, and it, First of all, you can look at all the different features. So again, you can scan, monitor, control, secure, and troubleshoot your network and all your devices on it. Um, again, it typically has a, a number of products. So there's Fing Desktop. So uh, you can install this on a Mac or a PC. I'm using a PC here. There's also the app as well for the uh, iPhone and also Android devices. And there's also an agent that you can deploy. So if you're using containers or um, you know Azure resources and things like that, you can use that. Um, in terms of pricing, uh, I wasn't kidding when I said it was low cost. So it's so low cost, it's actually free and you can just sign up and you get the, it's again, totally free. There's no catches with that, it's really good. But if you wanna go to the starter edition, so if you're an IT pro, small office, Again, please note though that the prices, this is not per month, this is per year. So you can see 69 bucks per year, it's not really gonna cost much. So today I'm gonna use the premium version as you can see. So you can see that everything is here. So pretty much just select the plan, uh, download the app, um, you can even start with the free version and so on. All right, so uh, again, I'll let you uh, check out the website themselves. They've got tons of resources there. So to get started then, what I'm gonna do is I've got Thing Desktop here, so I've gone ahead and just downloaded it and I've installed it. So let's take a, a deep dive into exactly what Thing is. First up then, you're gonna get your overall network here. So everything looks good on my network. You'll get a continuous report uh, and you can also run various checks there as well. As you can see, I'm, I'm a small, office, home office. So I'm kind of a perfect uh, customer for this particular product. So it shows me I've got a number of online devices. So anything that's connected, uh, IoT devices, um, laptops, MacBooks, whatever you've got, it will pick them up. You can see I'm using broadband. Uh, it looks like I've got a terrible broadband connection at the moment. Actually, I do have a very fast connection, but of course, if you're on Wi-Fi, you're never gonna get the full speed of your Wi-Fi. Um, again, talks about my security. And at the moment, you can see it's saying, mm, could be improved. Okay, we'll take a look at that in a moment. So coming down, more details about the various devices on my network. So you can see we're in Apple House here. I've got some Sonos uh, HomeKit here. We've got Sony, uh, Samsung, and also Riso as well for our uh, security systems here as well. So you can see personal digital media. So it tells you it breaks the, the hardware down uh, to different types. Now, the other thing is then I can then say, hey, you know, I want to see uh, more devices. So I can either go in here or you can either click onto the device option here as well. Again, whichever you prefer. And you can see that we get a complete log of all my devices. So again, you can see that we've got some quite a number of uh, machines here. We all kind of work from home. So you can see it tells you what kind of device that you're actually working with here as well. 
Uh, and again, if I wanted to break this down and go into this with a little bit more detail, again, I can just simply click on my MacBook Pro here. You can see it gives me my Mac address, my internal IP address here. Uh, when it was last changed or checked, um, shows me the vendor detail. I can also check the warranty here as well, which is awesome, by the way. Um, did Fing get it right? So you can give this some feedback. Um, and also it talks about the uh, price class of the object. It talks about, you know, whether the device is popular, what type of operating system it's got and so on. And you can go in and you can edit this and it updates things that Fing for you. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm on Wi-Fi, so you can see here, it shows me that MacBook Pro, I'm connected by DHCP, and again, I can scroll down, and the really cool thing, I love this, by the way, that it actually knows that it's an Apple system, and it connects to all the Apple uh, resources here, so if you need to get help, for example, from the support desk, um, there's a help forum, there's various documents here. I love this. I think this is just absolutely awesome. And again, all the social media stuff here. You've also got some options here. So again, about the device, so you can either go along the top there or you can just see the whole thing. And again, as I mentioned, you can uh, edit any, con any details of that device as well. So going back to my uh, devices, uh, let me show you somebody else that's on the network here. So you can see that we have got a, you can see it's a Samsung uh, device. I can go in and you can see this particular device, it might be running Android. So this is obviously a mobile device here. Um, again, parameters. And again, you've got that same help desk information here. I just love that. I think it absolutely rocks. Now going into the network settings here. So uh, this is really super important, especially for IT pros, because we're all geeks and we kind of love this stuff, don't we? So you can see here, it tells me my Wi-Fi details. Also the protocol that it's secured with. Um, also the network setup. So it gives me the IP address um, or the MAC address and so on as well. In fact, that I'm using DHCP, uh, DNS. It all looks uh, pretty good. Um, the network devices, how many network devices are online and connected to the WAN. Um, also the internet setup here, it gives me my uh, public IP address. I'll blot that out just for security reasons there, of course. So I can then say, hey, you know, I want to do a deep scan of the network and you can do this on a weekly basis. And essentially what it will do is it will scan multiple protocols and it will give you a really nice scan of your network and look for any kind of unusual devices that might have fallen onto it. Very, very powerful. So again, that is the network information. Now, like a good IT pro, I'm very keen to learn about my security. So you can see here, we have, it gives you details about all of your uh, devices, whether they're confirmed devices on your network or unconfirmed devices. And you can view the timeline to see what when those devices actually came on. And I can go in and I can say, hey, I want to actually confirm those devices. So I can say, hey, you know, well, I happen to know that all of these devices are actually okay. So again, this is a TV. And I can go ahead and I can say, yep, I want to save that and that will then confirm those uh, devices here. I'm also getting a little warning here. So you can see I'm getting a, a gold shield. It's telling me my access point has insufficient uh, protection. So I can go into that and find out a little bit more details here. And you can see that there's a couple of things. It gives me a, a signal strength, uh, the Wi-Fi details here. So I might want to kind of investigate that a little bit more. If there are any notifications on the device. Now I did mention by the way that this is the, the kind of the premium version of the product. So it's great because it actually will send you out email notifications as well, which is, I, I just find super useful. So for example, if you've got a customer that's got this, then you can configure this for them and you get notified if there is any kind of issues.
So this next feature, Auto Black, I really like, although we're in a home office, so ours is not configured. But as you can see, you can set it up essentially where the policy will detect any unrecognized devices and essentially block them from your network. That's an awesome security feature, by the way. Um, automated router vulnerabilities. So again, um, it will check the router every day to see if there are any kind of vulnerabilities. And if there are, you can see it will uh, report those vulnerabilities to me. So it gives me the details about the router. And again, I can scroll down and probably here, it's just complaining that I've got some ports open. Uh, again, I've got some ports for a VPN and, and so on. So it's basically telling me that that's a potential vulnerability. Um, so again, it keeps me really up to date on all of my notifications. Again, I can drill into this and I can go in and, and look in it for uh, more details. So the, that's the kind of the diagnostic kind of reporting things that it's got. So the other thing that you can also do is you can also run a series of checks as well. So it will go off and it will check the, for example, this network speed, it will check the security, it will check how many devices are currently online, as well as the users who are currently online as well. So if I click down into people here, you can see it gives me an overview of which users are currently online. I could set up tracking uh, to, to obviously track which devices the users go on, but I'm not doing that at the moment. Um, you can view the timeline, you can say who's currently at home, and some Thing that you can also do is you can schedule internet downtime as well which again if you've got young kids or kids that want to be on their ipads all the time can be super useful um i love this by the way this is my one of my favorite features for it pros this is where you've got like a big bag of tools which you're just going to use all the time so i can go ahead and i can uh, for example test my internet speed here now i happen to know that i'm a, i've got a really good broadband connection but i'm not wired so i'm only on wi-fi so bearing in mind that you're never going to get that the same performance that you're going to get on a on a wired network connection there and the one thing i really like about this by the way is once it's done the test you can see you can contact your support i love that the fact that they've integrated all the support details in both for the machines so your devices but also any kind of vendors that you might have to work with it's almost like you've got this kind of single pane of glass solution which i really like so what else have we got? Well, you can test open ports on your network as well as testing the router for any potential vulnerabilities. You can see that the these are premium features here. So everything else you get for free, by the way, which is, again, absolutely awesome. Um, any hidden uh, Wi-Fi network cameras on the network? Very good for security, of course. And then you've got some practical troubleshooting tools here. So you've got ping, you've got trace route, you've got DNS lookup tools here, you've got MAC address lookup uh, settings here. I love the fact that you've got this DNS benchmarking tool, by the way. So you can actually test all the various vendors out there. And essentially it's who's got the best DNS uh, configurations. So you can see it will go through all the different vendors, the DNS providers, and it will basically monitor those and give you a nice kind of uh, gradient on who's got the best. Um, I really like that, that's nice. Finally, you've got notifications here. So again, any notifications of any potential issues, I really like that. And then finally, I can come up here. You can edit your profile, put your de your personal details in, contact details, and again, email address. So as I said, if you've got the premium version, it will send you out details of these notifications of if and when new devices come online. I really like that. Finally, going into the uh, preferences here, you can choose to launch a thing at boot, you can hide the window, of course. You can automatically update the platform. Um, things like uh, disable hardware acceleration, I've uh, left mine switched on. Um, then you've got your notification options here. So do you want to show notifications or do you just want to dismiss them once you've read them? 
Um, you've got the local API. So if you've got a, uh, a an API that you want to integrate into Fing, then you can do that. So it's very, very extensible. Um, and I really like that. So there you have it, Fing. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Go ahead, download a copy. I'll put the details below. Uh, I would love to know what you think about it and give me some feedback. That would be awesome. Hey, listen, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, give me a big thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And again, any questions and comments, as always, you know what to do. Get those down below. That's it for this time. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Take care.